Hello, welcome back to the Michael Talks Football Channel. We're going to continue our coverage of the AFCON with Ivory Coast 2, Sierra Leone 2. Who would have thought this result would have came? First off, big up, Sierra Leone. What a performance once again. 2-2 two, two, the final score. Uh, this is the game of the tournament so far. This was absolute scenes from minute 1 to minute 95 or whatever. I think it was minute 100 that this game finished on. Just talking points on Tom on top of talking points end to end action and you just got to give credit to Sierra Leone they just did not give up in this game they could have easily folded after the penalty miss that Ivory Coast had they could have folded after the first goal from Haller they could have folded after the 2-1 but they just kept coming and coming and a great performance an absolutely fantastic performance but let's talk about the game because this game had everything first off Frank Kessie, probably miss. I think Zaha was pulled down. I cannot remember which Sierra Leone pay, player brought him down, but Zaha was brought down. Frank Kessie stepped up, and this guy again. Mohamed Kamara is turning out to be the best goalkeeper so far in this tournament. Mohamed Kamara, who plays, I think, his club football in Sierra Leone, came up big once again. Uh, th this guy is an incredible story, an absolutely incredible story. Obviously, got the man of the match in the last game. 1 0, then Sebastian Haller, then tucks it in. Then maybe Mohamed Kamara did read this situation a little bit wrong he was you know he was guessing on which side he would go to he went to his right side and Haller put it in the bottom left corner one nil to Ivory Coast then the second half begins I mean to be honest Ivory Coast were pretty dominant in the first half they had a lot of chances I think it was like the first 15 minutes at least before even the goal even happened Ivory Coast just created chances and chances Sierra Leone were giving up the ball very very easily but they didn't deter from it second half comes and then Kamara Musa with a fan it was a fantastic team goal a fantastic team goal from Sierra Leone's part ball played into the middle Kamara Musa takes one beautiful touch and then just bang past the goalie into the net 1-1 is the scoreline then Nicolas Pepe makes 2-1 good play from Sangare lays it off to Nicolas Pepe and he just bends it around the Sierra Leone defender and a beautiful finish come out of the goalkeeper could do nothing about it I, at first I thought oh maybe he was a little bit you know couldn't see much and yeah he was blindsided and just Pepe with an incredible finish around the goalkeeper. Then we get to the, the craziness. Let's get to the cra craziness. First off, oh man, oh man. Padre Ali Sangare, the goalkeeper for Ivory Coast, is going to have nightmares. He's going to have nightmares because he should be dealing with the situation much, much better. I, I think we can all agree he should be dealing with the situation much better. I'll show you guys quickly what I'm talking about. He should be dealing with this situation much better. The ball comes to him. It's headed back to him. Sangare just completely read it wrong. And then you see what happens. You just see what happens. He read it wrong. The pitch could have maybe deterred him a little bit. Fumbles it. And then Stephen Cocker is right there. Stephen Cocker, the center back for Sierra Leone, is right there in the situation to read it. Brings the ball, lays it off to Al Haji Kamara, and Al Haji Kamara then just almost slips. Let's be honest, Al Haji Kamara almost slips, almost didn't even put the ball in the back of the net. He does, and Sierra Leone come away with a remarkable 2 2 draw. I'll be honest though, they deserved it. They were, I thought they were really good today, Sierra Leone. They could have easily just defended and defended, and they did for most parts of the game. But as you can see here, how, here are the celebrations. Have fantastic celebrations. Al Haji Kamara, I look at the Ivory Coast players. They don't even know what hit them. Look at them. They're like, what? What just happened? What just happened here? Oh, sorry, guys. It just went a little bit weird. They're just like, what happened here? I don't know what happened. <laughs> and then Al Haji Kamara takes off his t shirt and then just the crazy celebrations, kind of like Buffett Tembi Gomez back in the day. If you guys remember the, I think it was Swansea City uh, striker. Yeah, Swansea City striker who now plays his club football for Al Hilal in Saudi Arabia. He had the same sort of celebration where he's going like this. Oh my God! It was awesome to see. It was awesome to see. And look at the look at the whole celebration from the Sierra Leone camp. Oh, awesome sight! Awesome sight. But Ivory Coast, uh, you just can't trust this side. You just can't. With all this talent that they had, and they just cannot beat Sierra Leone. You just you can't. You bottled it. Two one lead. Ninety fifth minute. All you have to do, secure the win. You're good. But I guess Sangare. He just, I mean, it, it's an unfortunate situation for him because it looked like he got injured. Even Serge Ori went into the goal for the last couple moments, moments, excuse me. And then 
I thought even Sierra Leone were going to win the game. They got they were still attacking. If there was maybe three more minutes left in the game, who knows? Sierra Leone could have even won the match because Serge Aurier is in goal. But I, I, Ivory Coast should have won this game. They had enough chances. They created enough chances. But there is some magic around this Sierra Leone side. I don't know what it is, but there is some magic. There really is. Big up to Salon. Good performance. Getting another point. They got a point against Algeria. They got a point, a point against Ivory Coast. All they need to do, they just need a draw or I think a win against Equatorial Guinea. They're in the round of 16. I think they will make it. I think three points will be enough and a plus goal difference or a zero goal difference will be enough to make it as a, you know, the four best third place sides. And who knows? At the moment, I think Algeria and Equatorial Guinea are drawing nil nil. If that result stands, Sierra Leone are going to be second place in this group. Second place heading into the final match day. So anything's possible for the side, but uh, just a crazy game, an absolutely crazy game. That's why I love this African Cup of Nations. You just don't know what's going to happen. You can have referees fucking it up. You can have this sort of shenanigans going on. Anything's just possible. This is why, you know, everybody was dissing it first match day. Look at how, look at how little goals are being scored. Look at the second match day and tell me you're not entertained. Tell me you're not entertained. So game of the tournament so far i don't know if anything's gonna eclipse this hopefully it does because this was an absolute madness and just big up Sierra Leone. remember guys if you're new around here subscribe to the channel like the video and follow my content all around the african cup of nations 2021 playing in 2022 see you for the next video see you tonight 11 p.m finland time for the match day three predictions adios people